Hey Devin, you got a second? I've been having some problems with my machine. What seems to be the problem, Clark? Well, my tool life, it's all over the place. One day it's great, the next day I'm changing tools constantly. Sometimes I got foam coming out of the sump, and sometimes I get rust on the tool. Well, that sounds like you may have some concentration control issues with your machine. Really? I thought as long as I had coolant in the sump, I'd be fine. Well, coolant does a lot more than just cool the tool. It provides lubrication, corrosion protection, and helps control stink as well. How often do you check your sump anyway? Well, I look at it every day, and if it doesn't seem right, I'll put in more water or coolant. Well, right there is the source of your problems. You really need to check your sump concentration with the refractometer, and then add properly prepared makeup fluid. You mean one of these? I hate these. I've seen other folks use them, but whenever I try it, I just get a fuzzy gray line. Well, you probably have a lot of whey oil leaking into your sump. A digital refractometer eliminates having to guess your brick's refractive index because it gives you an exact number. My machine does have some whey oil leaking into the sump. How do you use a digital refractometer anyway? It's easy. You calibrate the unit with just a couple drops of water, close the lid, and hit zero. Then you clean off the lens, add well-mixed coolant from a discharge nozzle, and press read. Well, that does sound easy, and that's much better than looking at a fuzzy gray line. Uh, I've been told to run the machine at 8%, so if it reads 8% bricks, does that mean I'm all set? Maybe. It depends on what the bricks factor is for the fluid you're running. Soluble oils usually have a factor near one, but many semis and synthetics have very different factors. I don't know what my factor is. Where would I find it? It's right on the drum or pail label and on the d data and information sheet. Here it is, 1.22. So should I multiply my percent bricks by the 1.22 to get the actual sump concentration? That's right. If the unit displays 12% bricks, your actual sump concentration is 14.6%. Wow, that's way high. I guess that explains all the foam. And low concentration can actually lead to shortened tool life, rust, and bacterial problems. So if I want an 8% sump concentration, I really need a percent bricks of 6.6. .6. You can then track and post your readings in either percent bricks or percent concentration, whatever is easier for you. Well, since the refractometer factor is 1.22, I don't want to do the math in my head. I'd rather just chart percent bricks. And since you want to run Microsoft 585 XT between 7 and 9% with a target of 8%, you want your readings to be 5.8 to 7.4 with a target of 6.6. .6. Well, I'm going to start charting that today. That should really simplify my job. That's right. And you won't have poor tool life, rust, or stink when your machine concentration is in control. Well, hey, thanks a lot for showing me how to use a digital refractometer to keep my sump concentration in. No problem, Clark. I'll see you later.